Hello guys and welcome to another quick news video. Uh, I know this came out yesterday. I didn't have time to make it or or if you're seeing this another day then it came out on Sunday, May 9th, Mother's Day. Uh, but you know people don't go into work until Monday. So you know I probably didn't hear about it until Monday. So the Prince has been delayed at HBO Max for obvious reasons of course because it has a caricature. Well not really a caricature but like they actually made a character named prince philip and like and like they drew a character style for him uh and uh he died at 99 so they delayed the show out of respect for his death but uh but to be honest i this was really expected uh i had a feeling that they probably should have aired the show in march but uh from what i've heard it got delayed a few times in production and they weren't allowed to continue forward and with it and release it that early so and the show wasn't greenland until january 2020 so it probably wouldn't have made the air by then anyways because when you green light a show it it can't make it that fast to air as opposed to renewing an existing show so like if you renew an existing show it might only take say 10 11 months but if you green light a new show it's gonna take at least 12 to uh, uh not even 12 maybe 14 15 months just to get it on the air i mean the great north took uh the great north took almost two years to get on the air from when it was greenlit uh, in 2019 so i i think it's about accurate it's the same with house broken it's uh about a year and a half from when it was greenlit so it's about normal uh Honestly, though, I, w there's a lot of hate for the the still because, oh, they look ugly. Most of the hate is based on the art style. There, there, there are some hate for some people who don't support it because of how it makes fun of kids like Prince George and that other girl, Prince Charlotte or something. I, I seriously forgot. I, I, I don't live in the UK, so I literally don't know who the hell they are, and I literally don't care either. So, but... Uh, yeah, the show's being delayed. According to a source, the show doesn't portray uh, Prince Philip in the most flattering of ways. Like, uh, like again, that picture shows him like he's like a zombie or like he's he's a hunchback or whatever. Uh, yeah, they're adjusting. They're basically just delaying it. I'm. I I predict it'll be in uh, winter. No, uh, fall 21, I think, is when they'll air. But if for some reason they have to eliminate Prince Philip as a character completely and go back and redo all the scenes with him in it, I might say it might even take till 2022 <laughs> just to get it on there. But uh, I have some hope for this show. I, I don't think it's going to be great, but I feel like it's not going to be as bad as people say it is because, uh, because surprisingly, the press release for HBO Max, when it was green, that said, uh, we think George can be funny and sometimes sweet, so there might be some heart to it. So I think that might make or break the show, to be honest. Uh, Gary's got a million followers on Instagram. I'm sure the show will be a hit with his fans, so maybe it could get season two. Just maybe. It, like, I, I, think if it's a, I think if it's at least a decent show, it could get. If it's going to end up like Foops or Alan Gregory, then yeah. Oh, hell no. It's not getting a season two. You know, Foops and Alan Gregory, like, flopped really, really hard. And it's because, like, the critics hated those shows. Like, Foops had 14% on Rotten Tomatoes. 14%. That's terrible. And that, that's not something you want your show to have. So, yes, uh, I feel like one of the main indicators that Hoops was canceled at Netflix, despite being at the peak of COVID-19, was that the, the reviews, the critic reviews were really, really bad. And on top of that, you have low ratings. That's just another excuse not to renew it. So, like, it, I, I feel like nowadays, if an animated show is canceled during a pandemic, then something real, then it must have failed somewhere really, really hard. I mean, it, it's sad to say that, but it's true. With live action shows, it could be other circumstances. But uh, to be honest, if this show somehow gets a lot of controversy and, you know, people start hating it or whatever, it doesn't matter how many people are going to watch it. I feel like HBO Max is just not going to renew it. So 
Because, you know, like, shows like Alan Gregory did okay on Fox, but they still weren't renewed just because people flat out hated it. And, like, like it was, it got negative controversies and stuff like that. So, even if the show does okay in viewership, it could still not be renewed because, you know, of all those negative circumstances. Now, I know uh, there are some people who criticize this, uh, The Prince, uh, that they don't like how it, again, they don't like how it uh, talks about kids and makes fun of them uh gary janetti the creator released released some clips on instagram but it's really not that they don't really give you a sense of how the show is going to go the only thing i do know from the show is that they are going to swear but i hope they don't dial it up times 10 like crossing swords and hoops and hopefully get an excuse just to swear everywhere because you know uh because you know as i said i already said i didn't really like Hoops as a show, and that's mainly because the main joke of the show, which is swearing, got old very quickly. So, it's it's like, okay, it's funny the first time. Yeah, sure, it's funny the first time, and maybe the second time. Maybe, just maybe the third time. But once they use it over the hundredth time, it gets boring. So, I'm hoping that this show is more than just, oh, uh, he's a dick. Oh, he swears. Basically make it not another Hoops or Alan Gregory, and I think the show could be okay at least. As long as you don't make it another Hoops or Alan Gregory, because it's definitely not going to be another Paradise PD, I can tell. I can tell based on those trailer clips, it's more grounded in realism. So, don't make it a Hoops, don't make it Alan Gregory, and I think it'll be an okay show. Notice I said okay, I don't think... It will be good for the main reason because they're making fun of kids. And I feel like there will be a lot of people who aren't, who won't be sold on that premise. So, I'm still going to check it out. I'll review it when it comes out. I'll probably try to get screeners for it and then I can talk about it uh, before it airs. But uh, but that's not for a very long time. So, I, I, I know I kind of went on a rant here, but uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the delay or what it means for the future of the show. I think they ordered 13 episodes. So far, I only know that 9 are ordered, but I'm pretty sure it's a 13 episode order. Uh, it could be 10, it could be 13, it could be somewhere between there, but don't expect more than 13. So, anyways, just some quick rant thoughts on The Prince being delayed. Uh, what, do you th what do you think? Uh, I, if, you, if you're going to watch the show or not, let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe like and share my videos because i want this channel to grow and i want you to have a good place where you can learn more about you know current shows uh, you might want to hear a, a review or a theory that i have on a show that i watch so yeah just let me know what you think and i'll see you next time goodbye